hello and welcome back to the last spell we are just gonna jump into it friends see you in the morning oh there's someone over there uh oh uh i feel like our seer gave us a misread This doesn't seem accurate. Well, we'll figure it out. It's fine. Uh, this person over here is definitely going to be a problem for us. But it's fine. We should be able to just like... Requires line of sight. They, they were able to attack us, but they weren't out of the mist. I guess that makes sense. Let's see if we can't um, do some good stuff with our... Um, individual what is it called i can't remember what is it called isolation should we can we kill this lad oh yes perfect now what i want to do is actually split some of these guys up so i want to actually get a couple of kills um can we do that guy this guy even though it's less good for um, Paloma because he gets or so she gets less um, magic missiles it doesn't really matter I just like want to make sure that Carmen can can hit some of these lads and, and build up her isolation because if I don't think diagonal counts I think as long as they're you know I think if they're only together diagonally then it's fine Cause look at this we're, we're building up quite a lot of uh damage for her oh my god does she set off traps thankfully not okay she's actually out um we could use it we could do a rain of of arrows oh right it does it works badly in the, at this angle Okay, uh, I'm gonna back her right up. This guy over here will we'll have her kill in the next one. Um, do we have anything left for you to do? We could just throw out another magic missiles, clean up a little bit. Oh, uh, they, they really just cannot hit this one, dude. These, these walls are such a problem. All right, whatever. Um, we'll just we'll just focus. Oh my god, I'm just doing the worst right now. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Um, we can resupply traps. Do we need to though? So this the fact that we get to do this in an area of effect is kind of really nice. Does it resupply them completely? Gives back one charge. So it doesn't matter if we use it like now. May as well. Uh, I think at the end of the day, the trap, resupplying the traps isn't going to be like amazing. What it'll do is it'll give us back a little bit more materials because I won't have to spend materials resupplying the or repairing the, the traps. All right, so let's do a weakening touch over here. Kind of want to make like build up Dan, like level up Dan at all, because he he could stand. Like we we want to do good stuff with Dan as well, right? Um, so let's do we'll do a mega stomp. See if we we'll see what we get with this. Oh my god, he killed everyone. Okay. <laughs> Let's just uh, do what we can, you know? Okay, everyone's pretty much done. Talenka or Jelenka hasn't done everything she can do, but that's fine. She, she, we've run out of enemies to kill. It's a very good problem to have, you know? Oh, those traps are just so nice. 
We should have put some more traps over here, actually. I think we just took our first tiny tick of damage on the walls. Yeah. So, you know, that's that's why it's good to push back the mist, and I will definitely dedicate more um, resources to doing that. I might even do it twice. Might be worth doing that. Uh, all right, let's, uh, well, first of all, let's set, spread our contagion. And I think it would actually, we can, we can do a stun. Uh, the two people that are contagioned are, did not get stunned, which is a bomber. There we go. Kind of want to just like end it there. Like, I don't want to kill them. And I'll just spread uh, this negative resistance with Contagion on the next turn. Like, I, I, I don't know. Like, I, I'm not sure what the best route is. Like, we can kill that lad. Taste my wrath. Um, we definitely want to do as much as we can over here. Uh, there's some really good stuff. The fact that these guys are all diagonally lined up like this is perfect for, uh, for Carmen. How much can we get her damage up to is my question. One by one is up to 24 damage so far. 28. It just keeps going. She could become like a damage monster. As soon as we mess up though, it's like, you know, it's devastating. This should be fine. Yeah. Uh, she's out of action points. My god, I love it. I don't even have to really worry about the uh, initiator. Oh, sucks. Well, okay, we wounded him, so it actually does help against his armor. The middle. <laughs> the metal rifts in the background is really nice. Nice. And then the cleanup. Blood, blood, blood. Oh, yeah, you know, it feels really good to, be, you know, be comfortable, you know? We're like, we're so comfortable right now. Oh my god. The, the ballista kills are just so satisfying. I don't think that a ballista strategy every single game would be necessarily, like, the thing to do. Um, I do think that it's it, it, de it definitely helps um, ease the burden a little bit. So now, hold on. What we want to do is... I kind of want to get in here and do... Uh, oh, wait, that's wrong guy. With Jelenka, I want her... I just want to keep experimenting a little bit with this Contagion and, like, business here so she can follow up and do some extra damage, like, with opportunism and then spread that. There we go. Um, so that spreads the uh, resistance debuff and the Contagion. So then she can just, like, keep... Oh, she can't actually... She has to... She has to, The range... Um, is actually kind of a problem with follow-up. So she can only do follow-up twice, it's worth mentioning. There we go. And then... Stun. Oh my god. Yeah, it's just so nice. Everything is, is beautiful right now. Oh, except she's kind of trapped over here, I will say. That's maybe not ideal. Uh, let's just, let's just get her out of there. Oh, this, this person's not stunned. Let's just kill them. I am just going to go with an old main set. Oh, there's a dude over here. Let's, uh, I'm going to move over here. Let's see if I can't just kill that lad. Yeah. Oh, we're out. Shoot. We'll, we'll, we'll spread our contagion on them and this guy. 
and um we'll keep yeah so what i need to do and this is um, this is why i'm experimenting is because I'm, I'm learning a little bit is we want to stun a couple lads and put our neg our resistance debuff on them and then we want to not kill them and whoever has contagion and debuff we want to make sure that they just get flooded around with guys and then we can have either dan or um jelenka kill them and spread that debuff without having to use another weakening touch so we could basically use like one weakening touch near the beginning and keep kind of like chain comboing that contagion so that the, you know we just like keep that going forever and in that sense um yeah weakening touch will actually be worthwhile not that it wasn't before but i think it's like now that it's like basically free i think that's worth it let's um uh, kind of want to just like murder these guys and then we'll do one magic missile i want to kill this focus on that frog because it's uh making it so that we can't buff carmen and it's very important to me right now that we buff Carmen as much as possible because it's ridiculous and I love it. Murdered. We're up to 60% damage. It's ridiculous and I love it. Um, and uh, I guess we should make sure that a couple of these per people can't like actually get up to the wall oh mm, how do we want to do you know what magic missile perfect yeah I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm cool with that uh i would like to um repair a couple of our traps we can uh that's it we only get that limit per turn once uses per night once i guess oh and she she can resupply catapults oh dang uh that's kind of interesting um definitely makes catapults more worthwhile i'm not too worried about the fact that these guys can are, can actually get inside our wall since uh we have like a bajillion ballistas ready to take them out Nice. Not, uh. Okay, things are getting a little bit spicier, I won't lie. They are actually hitting our wall. Okay, this is where that damage multiplier is actually going to matter. Is if I can, like, separate this bulky from everything else, then, um... Carmen can just melt him. Uh, we're just going to use a normal spell. Kill that dude. And then Carmen is going to melt this dude. I'm pretty sure there's no one else around them. Could do an explosive bolt. Nah. Oof. I honestly expected it to kill it in the first hit. So three hits to kill that one dude. That's um still pretty good. <laughs> um hmm. We are at the point where I should like. Oh, we can do how many times can we do this? A little bit uh, curious on that one. We could do two magic missiles. I'm going to actually like step out here and try and do a little bit of cleanup. Oh, out of range. Oops. I guess stepping out there is not really what you want to do. Okay. How about this? We're going to pop, 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 pop. Nice. And then pop 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 that worked out perfectly that was amazing 
Uh, Carmen still has some stuff to do. I don't think this guy has anyone next to him. It's hard to tell a little bit, but nice. Didn't quite kill it, but that's fine. She's at plus 60. Is it at the max? Up to 60%. Okay, so six, plus 60% damage is the maximum that goes. We know the limit now. Now, things over here are uh, interesting, to say the least. Let's um, just like start by contagioning that guy. And um, wanna, maybe want to do like a fireball. This seems like a good fireball. Yeah, just to spread that contagion. I'm surprised that this guy didn't get the contagion. But that's fine. Um, let's just like kill this guy if we can. Yeah, there we go. Um, now let's see. Well, we could just do some follow-ups. Let's just do some follow-ups. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> and uh, what I want to do is stun these two guys. Just stunning this guy is actually enough. That's all I really cared about. Because he's got that um, resistance debuff. Does that only... That's only going to last for one turn. I guess that's only going to last for this turn. There's, there's other things at play here. I can't just like, you know, expect that resistance debuff to last forever. Uh, I would really like to kill that guy over there. But unfortunately, he he's armored. So he's not... Oh, there's a bulky dude over there. Oh, that's not going to be good. I don't really have the, 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 the nuking ability over here as I, as I do over here. Not that everything's rosy peachy over here either. Wow. Oh my god. Uh, so these guys are technically inside the walls. I, I don't like that that's a thing. But um, not much I can do about it. I, I think a fireball will take them both out because the fireball does go just through armor. Yes, perfect. Um, now over here, what like I, I don't know what's maybe it'd be worth just using another weakening touch. There's a pretty good one here. And then we'll do contamination. And then let's see if we can't stun all of them. I kind of just want to kill this hopper. That's that's good. Even though it, it gave that guy a little bit of resistance, it doesn't make up for the resistance that we've taken away from him. Can we just kill that other lad? Because he's kind of annoying. It's annoying me that you're alive. There we go. Okay, things over there are nice. Things over here could be better, but, uh, you know, like it's... When I say they could be better, what I mean is they could be, like, ridiculously comfortable. Um, but they, you know, they're just, as it happens, they're just, like, slightly uncomfortable. <laughs> Uh, I, I guess I want to make sure that the armored dude gets hit. Oh, the, the, the range on this is a little bit. Annoying. It's really just these walls. These two walls here are such an annoyance. Just kill that lad. The way the range works is just like, I probably wouldn't, um, like a tower over here might not be a terrible idea. Wow, it's kind of a nice thing I did a, another crossbow over there. Um, magic missile has also got an annoying range, so we're going to have to come over here. Wow, what the... What? Really? Do the, the, the crossbows also block? My god. Um, that's kind of a problem. I, I, I like These guys are in exactly my blind zone. 
I'm gonna have to have Carmen come over here and deal with them. Which she still can't, actually. We could, I mean, we could use a rain of arrows. Cost four mana. Sure. She's gonna lose that, uh, oh, wait. What? Hitting a non-isolated unit decreases this bonus by six. Oh, okay. I thought it just completely annihilated the bonus, but it only removes it removes six. So I've been doing a whole lot of extra metagaming that I didn't have to do. Oh, I can kill this guy. Cool. Nice. Okay, we're good over there. Uh, we're good over here. Everything's good. It's a good feeling, you know? So we did uh, that contagion actually did so the the ballista still help because it spreads the contagion if you plan things right so we're just gonna this guy's got negative 50 resistance we can just like follow up on him like four or t i guess we can only do it twice well we may as well do it anyway like that's really good damage Th these guys tend to be damaged sponges Perfect. Done. That was only 20 minutes? Felt longer. To Jelenka did not level up. That's kind of a problem. Dan leveled up though, so that's good. We didn't get a we didn't have a flawless night, but we we still got S. That's all I care about is the good letter. Do you need some loot? I do need some loot. Let's see what you got for us. Um, right. So these come with our items available. Why don't we have a look at that? So this is our night reward. Um, oh, this is, a, these are really nice boots and I, they would be perfect. I think for, um, Carmen, Carmen would love that. Cause it's uh, the isolation bonus is going to hit just right. Um, hammer. These are, are, eh. One hand. I should try, like, look at the dagger at in the future, but I don't think it's gonna work for me right now. I mean, we're different. We're gonna need a new. We're gonna want a new hero. So, uh, I think maybe a hammer, just so we, we have more stun potential. I like the hammer a lot. I also just, I, the, the the axe is great. Isolation with the axe is a really dumb idea though. That's that's a really stupid idea. I don't think that that's gonna work at all. Um, yeah, let's just take the hammer. So our boyer, ooh, longbow. Extra reliability, extra isolation. Could be cool. I don't really want to try and figure out how uh, Carmen could make use of this. It's, it's, she's the only one that would probably make use of it. I like what she's doing right now. I, I am enjoying what she's doing. Silver short bow. Uh, it's just a short bow. I'm not a huge fan of any of this. I'll take the long bow, but we can always sell this stuff, right? So here's our armor. Armor uh, is nice. It's nice just getting like free armor but it's not armor it's not free we paid for it but you know i'm gonna take those pants i'm not gonna take the shield there's only one person who can use an offhand weapon and i would prefer they use the offhand weapon since it's perfect for them um so we have three level ups let's go ahead and do that now carmen with the extra damage yeah why not why not just make her a ridiculous glass cannon uh i don't like any of this Reliability, I guess, could could be good. But I'd rather get something rare. No. Daily mana regen. Doesn't she benefit from that? No. I keep forgetting who has that. Someone benefits from, from mana regen. Well, this was uh, bad. She'll make use of that ma mana regen, but not, not a lot. Um... Critical master. She could she could do some extra. Every five critical hits landed equals more critical power. M more critical power is not as valuable as having extra critical. She only has five percent critical, so I don't think that's worth it for her. 
Uh, I do think that specialist is useful for her and it gives her plus one use. So yeah, that's just incredible for her. I, I don't think you could do better than that, honestly. Okay, uh, Paloma, what can you do? Human Ballista is interesting. I kind of want to take that. Uh, every 12 units killed at a distance equals uh, of four or more equals extra skill range is really interesting. I, I kind of wouldn't mind taking that. Um, I honestly don't think I'm interested in any of them as much as Human Ballista. So let's take that. Third eye might be kind of cool, but eh. So she's already like ready for level nine. She's ready to, to hit the big time. Um, extra action points. Yeah. I, how can you not take extra action points? Why would you ever not take extra action points? Honestly, what does she benefit from? She benefits from extra mana. Um, and that's it. So I think we'll just give her extra magic damage, maybe, I guess. Eh, kind of just going to just reroll these. Daily health regen. I know someone benefits from that. I just don't know who. And I'm beginning to not care. <laughs> um, no. Isolation. Sure. You know what? Isolation would benefit her somewhat. Okay, Dan, 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 the man, uh, extra armor could actually be pretty good for, for Dan. Yeah, why not? I mean, he hasn't taken any damage yet, but like, I really don't like the idea of leaving them high and dry. If things get even a little bit rough. Mana regen. Oh, right. He needs to, like, not move. I don't know if I've been moving Dan a lot, but he needs to not move. Isolation is not good for him. Reroll those. Opportunism is perfect for him. He's going to do well with opportunism. Now, we do want to actually give him Sadist. And um, we do want to give him quantity versus quality. But we'll start with Sadist. Sadist is going to see, see the most... He's going to see the most benefit from that. Okay, before we do anything, let's go ahead and repel the mist and do guess where. That's uh, a, a blow, but it's a worthwhile one. Uh, and then next, we're going to want to do at least one worker for each gold mine. I definitely want to do at least one worker for each uh, camp. So we only have three left. Um, I think it would be worth doing these three, like, monster piles. Uh, we could get two extra items, but I, I, I honestly just think it'd be worth getting the materials more. Oh, I got a, I got an achievement for that. Sure hope I didn't forget anything. I, I tend to use the workers before I think about it. I mean, maybe the mana? No. No, I think, uh, who is this? Paloma's the only one who needed any mana, and we can pretty much get them up to scratch. Okay, so we've used all our workers. Um, let's see what kind of things we can take. Rejoice, O oh Earth and Sea. Can others see you? Sadly not. My powers remain too weak for me to materialize in the physical world. Thy world. I have to watch from afar. My children die in pain and suffering. I can only help my flock through thee, my righteous vessel. Receive my blessings for thy wondrous accomplishments. Heck yeah, bud. Hey, can you imagine talking to like some kind of god like that? And I don't think they are a god. I think there's some weird foul play afoot. Jeweler. Hold on. Crafts a trinket. Oh, yeah, that's, that seems kind of good. Oh, 4,500? Jesus. Hmm. Stun trap would actually be amazing when I think about it. The reason being is that because it would stun them before our turn. So then we could propagate that stun with contagion. That would be great. 
Um, I kind of just want to hoard our essence for now. I don't think that there's anything here that would really, like, make a difference. Um, so we have 700 gold to play with. I definitely want, before I do anything, I want to, uh, get an extra hero. And I think we already upgraded. Yeah, I already upgraded things so I can buy another hero right away. God, we can have up to six heroes now. That feels like insane. Um, rifles. I didn't really, I was not in, impressed by the rifles last time. Uh, oh, you have a druid staff. That means you can spread poison, maybe? Opportunism. Entangle. Ah, uh, yeah, this person would be ideal with the debuff um, duo. Making it a debuff trio. We'll have to figure it out because the thing is, is that they, they, we're going to have to split them up eventually, right? It might be we can put them like all around here. We have 900 materials, dude. Yo, dude, we have 900 materials. That's just kind of insane. Let's, uh, let's buy another hero. Why not? Uh, this person has a... Is that a scepter? Oh, I, they're level four, though. Death Ray, Putrid Ball... I am kind of just liking the debuff business, but this person's level seven. Level seven guy with axe. He's got extra bag slot, less damage, slightly less damage, more move points, less uh, less move, dodge. And they can also spread the plague. Yo, let's do it. Come on. Come on, bud. Come on, bud. You can spread the... She? They can spread the plague. Like nobody's business. I'm going to re-roll this because I want poison. Uh, well, this is actually not great. Well, you really wanted to give me mana, huh? Okay, we'll, we'll take mana. Um, you really want her to have mana. I guess her having mana isn't bad. She does have a lot of mana spells. Okay, sure. Mana. Why not? I really want her to have more poison, though. I guess this doesn't matter. She... She only has one um, attack that gives poison. I don't honestly care if she has extra damage. I just care about her living and spreading her vile business. Um, experience gain, nah. Daily health regen. Well, she's level four. Honestly, giving her experience gain this early wouldn't be a terrible idea. I don't like experience gain and that's, I'm not gonna increase it more than that. But, um, you know, I think that that's fine. Once when, at like early level. Uh, reliability, sure, I don't know. This, this is all over the place. So she doesn't have the spread poison perk. Oh, but she does have resupply. Oh, I kinda wanna do that. She'd get more, she'd get experience from, um, defenses. I don't understand how that would work if there are two people nearby. Enemies killed by defenses now give bonus XP to this hero. As if they were the killer. I don't, this doesn't really help. When attacking an isolated unit. Um. Sprint. Extra mana. She has a lot of mana, right? She has the perfect amount of mana right now, actually. Let's give her back protection, and I kind of just want to make her another trap resetter. Um, extra critical. Uses per night forever consumable is interesting. Unlocks the mark scale, allowing to debuff the target's dodge. Yes, so let's just give her more debuff. And when I say her, I mean, like, the whole business. One by one is interesting for her, but I, I don't think that... Oh, propagation wouldn't actually be a terrible idea because that would spread poison. Um, oh, we don't... We're, we're out of perks, actually. Okay. Who's next? Natalie. Natalie is going to get septic shock. 
Natalie is going to be a tank that spreads my vile business and she can spread contamination as well. Oh my god. This is this is a combo. This is a combo, yo. Sadist toxic leech. Whenever a unit takes poison damage within a range of 5 restore 2 health. Yes. Make her absolutely a monster with poison. There might be other good stuff here, but I like this. This is this is going to be fun. It's going to be real fun. Uh, I want her to have armor and um, health. I want her to be ridiculous, a ridiculous tank. Block wouldn't be a terrible idea. Extra health, sure. I just, I, like, I don't even care if she does damage. I just want her to be able to take all the damage and be alive afterwards. Resistance reduction, nah, block health yeah all right we'll give her some more health um giving her extra stun chance would be interesting because she actually does have a stun chance apply 50 stun at 50 percent. i think that this synergizes but i'm not sure if i'm being honest opportunism honestly seems better because she's going to be working with the oh poison damage there we go <laughs> yeah poison damage I have a funny feeling that poison damage actually does not synergize with her stuff but whatever it's fine I, i'm just i'm having a good time here stun chance nah reroll nah uh nah 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 stop it you want to give me reliability no no physical damage all right fine physical damage um this is all bad experience gained poison damage why wouldn't i take poison damage poison damage is the business okay uh, <laughs> i appear to be losing my mind actually uh things are looking like ridiculously good right now we have six heroes already uh we're like halfway more than halfway through this campaign i don't know how i'm gonna like combo people together I'm a little bit worried about that. I think Carmen is going to be best maybe at like this corner right here. I'm a little bit worried about her. Hopefully it won't matter too much. Um, now, I unfortunately like I is it Paloma? Paloma is the one that can reset traps. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how to set her up we definitely want someone over here maybe i think we want um patience close ish to dan and talenka so we'll have her like maybe here we'll see how this goes dan you can be like up in the front natalie you're gonna be like right here um paloma paloma uh i'm not sure paloma is really good with carmen we'll have we'll have paloma here we're gonna have to buff this wall a little bit natalie i think you're good there now it's just Tal uh, jalenka i keep saying talenka might have um talenka working with natalie on this oh this wall is like there's only it's only a tier one so that's actually maybe we'll have talenka here and um i'll have natalie here and yeah this seems okay I think that uh, I think Tal uh, Jelenka and Natalie together will be good because Na Natalie's going to spread the poison. Jelenka is going to contagion stuff. Ah, oh, but they would Dan. Oh, I don't like splitting up the the group like that. You know what? Maybe we'll have Dan over here with Jelenka. And then we'll have Natalie over here. We'll have the newbies taken on this side. 
potentially this could potentially go awful and i'll just have um patience patience and natalie over here i don't think i don't think it's gonna i don't think they're gonna work together to be honest it's not great but it's fine because we're gonna have build a ridiculous amount of ballistas and all kinds of traps and stuff um who is it that can reset traps is it natalie or is it patience Uh, it's Paloma and just Paloma. I thought I gave someone else that. Oh, here we go. Patience. Oh, patience can do it eventually, but she can't do it right now. Okay. So traps over here are not as important as traps near Paloma. Paloma is close to the trap, so that's fine. Not that we can't build traps anywhere else, but you know worth noting um so let's uh let's focus on some ballistas i'm gonna do some mounted ballistas over here for sure and i kind of just want to do some normal ballistas here And at this point, well, we want to make sure that almost everything is upgraded. I wish there was an easier way to upgrade them. Maybe there is a way. Defenses. No, there's not really. You can't, you can't like just like hit the upgrade button and then like, because uh, when you hit upgrade, you have to hit it twice, and it's kind of a pain in the butt. These are all upgraded, yes. Okay. These could use upgrading. There is a there is a limit to how many ballistas you can have, by the way. I can't remember what it is though. I'm not even looking at how many materials I'm spending. Which is not a great idea, but I'd like to have at least a hundred. I am looking now, don't worry. I wanna have a hundred. We'll we'll do that last one, that's fine. And now I want to build Traps. Traps, 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 traps. Um, and I guess I don't have enough for over here. I say enough, but yeah, that's good enough. Okay, that's pretty much everything spent except for the money. We can still buy some stuff. We can also upgrade, um, we'll get a better selling rate. I don't understand, uh, maybe that like has a okay rate of return. Also, did I like make sure, I no, I didn't. See, Carmen needs the these boots. Give her the boots, that isolation and armor bonus and XP gain, come on, come on. Um, who's the new one? Natalie, do you really want a great X or wouldn't you rather have a hammer? We can we can roll with the great axe, but the hammer does do stun. I guess you don't really have a stun, so never mind. She could use a helmet. I think everyone's got pretty much everything they can have. Uh helmet here, opportunism with dodge, meh. This is a nice inquisitor coat. Critical power isolation. And it has track, so it would have even more isolation. This is great for Carmen, but I keep giving Carmen, like, everything. I actually do think that this coat would be better for her than what she's currently using. So I'm going to buy it for Carmen. <laughs> Here's something I haven't seen before, a staff. Maybe I have seen it before, but I don't remember. Winged helm? Uh, resistance. Rather have like greaves with extra damage and accuracy. Seems like a good good one. Um Scepter. I should buy some potions and like scrolls and stuff. Potion of stability. I can't remember what that does. It's like immunity. Potion of energy. What does that do? 
Uh, oh, plus two action points. Yeah. And that's our money spent. So someone's going to get Greaves. Who is it? Is it um, probably Patience needs something? Natalie could probably use the Greaves because they have good armor. And Carmen, you're going to get Inquisitor Coat. And who's the lucky duck that gets the hand-me-down Ronin armor? Maybe um, Patience. Patience does do range damage. Da she doesn't really do range damage, but whatever she gets anything. Uh, Warren Greaves. Someone could get these Warren Greaves. They're actually not bad. Maybe Natalie? Natalie, I just gave her some nice Greaves. She has light armor. She needs better armor than that, but eh. Okay, patience, you get some Warren Greaves. There you go. Cool. Um, I regret taking that potion. Now, Carmen, you know you know what I'm going to give you. I'm going to give you a potion of energy because you get everything. You're like my star pupil. I need to get you a better crossbow is really all you need. And then you're like, good. You're solid. Perfect. Wonderful superstar. Um, and I think we're done. Spent all my gold. I could I could buy some stuff with tainted essence. Your prowess has been accomplished. Did I did I not do this? Build thirty ballistas. Oh, there we go. I actually didn't look at the reward for that. Oops. Wait, is that as many ballistas as you can have now? Oh no, you can have forty. Forty is the max. Cool. Okay. Um. Let's go ahead and. Uh, get the next wave going i i don't know how i feel about this but we'll see which gods will we pray tonight oh god good stuff Pretty sure this is like one of the biggest waves before like things calm down a little bit after this so things are going to seem really bad right now and then um and then they'll be better now um we have to, i have to kind of rethink how i do things a little bit um because i can no longer use Paloma, that's what Paloma was so good with Carmen because she could just like pick off a couple of dudes and separate them And we can't do that so much anymore um, We can spread contagion And resistance uh, But do I have anything I don't oh, okay. We do we do we do have the ability to stun that's really the main thing Let's do that right away. Just see what we can do um, and what I want to do is is I don't like these guys are like kind of the worst for doing a mega stomp because you have to be right up in their grill and they explode But that being said i'm gonna do it anyway because I don't think we'll kill them Yeah, we didn't kill them Now we'll back up and i'm actually what i'm gonna do is Do a lightning storm. We haven't really done any of those yet because there's just like a perfect circuit over here. Um, spread the contagion a little bit. I'd love to be able to stun this guy over here. I don't like not being able to stun him. I need to take out these two guys. It's just, I, it bothers me them living. <laughs> oh my God, they're still alive. If I kill this guy on the left, it should take out the guy on the right. Oh my god, he's still alive. Uh alright. Well we we can we can kill him with this. There we go. Not ideal because now um Carmen can't really kill anyone. Oh on that side. We could do like a rain of arrows. 
that actually would sort out things very nicely let's do that because then it separates these it's her first attack so it doesn't matter we haven't built up any damage to lose and what we'll do is we'll do um we'll build up a little bit of damage and now she has plus 12 percent damage we can do a heavy bolt on this lad i don't think it'll kill him so we can follow up with just a normal attack we could also drink our potion and then try and kill him i don't think there's anything wrong with that we'll do a heavy bolt there we go we'll leave that frog because they're stunned and they have the contagion and uh resistance and um carmen's not done yet what is this elite hopper first time i've seen that one we can um if, if we just shoot it once so i don't think that it'll be a bad oh wait they are something's misty i guess it's the elite hopper okay so we did some a nice chunk of damage paloma's gonna have to do some of the legwork over here wow that crossbow does like nothing to him um shoot all right well we'll have to follow it up we i mean like as long as they don't kill him then we get more attacks with our biggest stuff okay so they're they're dead now good stuff um we can just like hit a couple of these lads all right well, it's fine. There's like a bazillion ballistas over here, so we're good. Over here, it's a. Uh, I think we're. I think we're okay. Natalie has to be really up in the grill of everything. This boat is actually going to save her butt. Um, hopefully, it will. It will do a lot to protect her left side. Let's. Why don't we do like a bee sting? Just. I. I, I want to try this. This druid staff is all new for me. Oh, it poisoned her. Oops. I forgot that propagation works that way. That is 100% my bad. Okay, let's do like a big old swing and propagate all that poison and good stuff. Yeah. Um, we could do a leap. Kind of just like the idea of doing a, a swing here. But I need to kill... I need to kill like more than just you know that hold on super swing would that work how about a super swing here yeah that's not bad that's pretty good didn't kill this lad and we need to kill that lad what about this centipedes opportunism so we could yeah i think the contagion counts as a debuff i'm not sure um acid spray these guys do they have armor i guess they don't actually there's entangle negative move points <laughs> i'm just like i'm just like considering all the options there's so many options now i have so many options let's uh let's move all oh, right I, I i realize she's she's not the one that has this stun thing um let's go ahead and do a entangle here because i want to i really want that guy to to be slowed down so his uh, movement uh, movement has been reduced by quite a lot and then i want to do these two guys here as well oh there's a bunch of dudes over here we're gonna have to like kind of slide over there a little bit um yeah, let's uh let's brace Natalie. I, I poisoning her was such a dumb way of, of starting this. Okay, let's let's tangle them. We're we're good. Uh we can mark for some negative dodge. There's just like so many debuffs now, and like the contagion is such an interesting thing to me. And all of my turns are gonna take like just a ridiculous amount of time, way longer than it should.
Ouch. Ah, those guys suck so much. Okay, um, let's, let's Berserker Rage. This guy's got negative resistance. No, it's just a debuff, normal debuff. They, they don't have armor. They have resistance, so they have a ridiculous amount of resistance. And I don't have anything that lowers their resistance, unfortunately. We do have opportunism. Um, I think I'm going to come over here and just do like a big old swing. It's yeah, things are not as good over here is um, as in some of the other like these these people are new and I don't yet fully understand how to make them work together just yet. These guys are armored. No, they're not. They're just blockers. Everyone over here has resistance. <laughs> it sucks. Um, I kind of think just like. I don't know. We can mark a couple of lads like this guy and then that'll give us opportunism. Um, we don't really have a lot of like big damage stuff. We could do this. What does this have? Negative move points. Oh my God. Uh, yeah, over here, I'm, I'm not really liking this business. We could do B sting. Unfortunately, I've now like moved. Oh, okay. She, she's got tons of movement left. Let's just move her out of the way. Let's do a, a good old B sting here. Spread some poison. Spread some poison over there as well. I am getting the impression that maybe some of this isn't uh, as good as you'd want it to be. But it's fine. I think we'll be fine. Alright. Uh, over here. We're totally fine over here. Um, one by one, we're gonna, we're gonna do some good stuff over here with the one by one. Let's kill that lad. Let's kill that lad. I figured it was gonna take two of those, but honestly, it only taking two is nice. Now, I kind of want to do an explosive bolt like here. Yeah, we just lost all of our damage from one by one, so I shouldn't do that. She should never do, um, that. <laughs> Uh, all right, so we're just gonna like do a oh, you know what we got to make sure that we don't kill with that Say we almost killed I, I That's actually fine. I thought that that guy was gonna take a lot more hits than than it did we're Just gonna st stun some stuff maybe spread some contagion Um, I guess we could follow up Let's spread contagion to this guy and actually we want to lower his resistance They that increased our, our wow uh, if you saw that that was like our opportunism went up by a ridiculous amount Wait, what how many how much negative resistance did we just give that guy? We should be able to just like melt this guy now. Yeah. We're doing 500 damage per per one of those. Didn't kill him though. Damn. Okay, this is a perfect hit cuz we're going to kill that guy. It did zero damage to the other lads. That's very surprising. I was hoping to stun this guy. And we still didn't, we didn't kill that guy either. You know what? That's fine. He's stunned. Um, things are fine over here. I'm maybe not playing like super optimally. And I'm a little bit worried about oh, this side a bit. 
kind of want to just have Carmen watch this side and move Paloma over there. I think I should do that, actually. Let's just do that. Like, these these guys are fine covering this side. Carmen um, Carmen can 100% watch watch this side on her own. And Paloma, Paloma needs to babysit a little bit. Yeah, already things are, are better. Um, let's just brace her. I guess I should reset some of the traps before I leave. Should have done that. Oh, well, didn't do it. Oops, uh, everyone's done. That guy being right there. Oh, is that a... Oh, that is a boomer. Uh, oops. He, oh, almost killed her. Oh my god. The boomer is such ridiculous damage. It is, amazes me how much the ballistas are just watching that side on, on their own. Yeah, I'm not... Uh, I'm not... A huge fan of what's going on over here. I don't I think I want to not ha use the axe. I like it in theory. I don't like it in practice. Maybe Maybe I'm just saying that because things are not going exactly the way they should be over here Let's uh, spread some poison Smash Um, And we can do like a big old acid spray it doesn't really do much because I don't think that they had much armor or dodge to begin with, but it's it, yeah, it helps. Um, and then we'll just like spread a bunch of damage out. Yo, we get to do another six. Don't mind if I I don't care if I get kills this time um, We can kill that lad no he okay, I guess I should have I should have done a transfer That is a uh, classic me, huh? Let's um do berserker rage first and Whoever is not contagioned will just contagion. It's fine. Uh, this guy is I'm gonna hope that the ballistas take them out That was good Can I stun that guy I can give him negative move points at the very least I don't like that. There's no stun on this side. It, it makes me uncomfortable. It gives me a, a not good feeling I did not mean to do that. Oh That was so stupid meant to do that uh oh yeah i almost ended the turn i was like yeah that's it right nope not even close okay uh let's do we'll set up some contagions that's a good candidate right there uh that's a good candidate right there and i kind of want to just like do some weakening touch because they get a ridiculous amount of opportunism from that and then we'll just set up a lightning strike, except we're going to move Jelenka away so that we don't accidentally hurt her. Blammo! Nice. Uh, Jelenka. Oh, we should have... Mm, eh, you can't do everything. It's fine. This is, this is good. Actually, let's do our contagions first. Cause you know like you get that you get that opportunism just like right away i was hoping to stun this guy i know he's got 50 percent stun but that this that's not 100 percent. so we could possibly spread the stun yes we spread the stun perfect
Um, I think things could be better over here. I won't lie. We kill this one lad here. And then Carmen, well, Carmen can clean up over here if she really, if it's really bad. Oh, I, I shortchanged Carmen so badly. Um, let's give her the track buff. Just to give her a bit of extra damage. Yeah, that's already amazing. She can one hit the frogs. Amazing. And let's take another potion. Um, cause she's, her work is not yet done. She can kill this guy. For some, honestly, just to raise her damage a little bit. That's the only reason. I'm just wondering if it would be, nah, it's not worth it. Okay. Uh, wait, we're generating panic. What? How do we get to one panic? Oh, three ballistas got taken out by that boomer. Oh my god. Oh, that sucks. Man, that one boomer really did quite a lot of damage. So that we, we really cannot sit on our laurels with those boomers. <laughs> just, just like in real life. Uh, topical. Um, all right. This guy's got resistance. We That's the only thing we can't really do anything about. We can do a lot about um, armor. I guess in the, uh, playing optimally in this game means like having a bunch of extra weapons and like, like using the seer to see what kind of enemies we're going to face and then actually acting appropriately. But I'm not doing a lot of that, am I? Okay, um... How, what can we do here? I, I really don't like a lot of what's going on here. Kind of, let's, let's figure this out first. I don't like uh, that boomer there. Let's uh, see if we can't take him out with a couple of these. Nice. All right. Um, we could do this stuff over here first. Let's do like a, a, a not a follow up, a mega stomp. Actually, let's do a hammer strike first. Actually, let's do a contagion first. That makes sense, right? Then we'll do our stomp. And one there is really good. There we go. Lots of stuns. Very good. Then we can do our, our uh, mega stomp. Perfect. And Dan, Dan, you've got some good stuff you can do as well. Let's also have you uh, do some contagion. Why not? Gives you extra opportunism. Lightning strike. Perfect. That guy's stunned. I'm going li to leave him alone. Wow. Okay, I just want to kill that one lad there. Perfect. Okay, we're good here. Um, we're not so good over here. We're going to Berserker Rage. I guess, you know what we should do is let's spread some poison as much as we can. And I guess we could entangle. We'll spread poison and we'll entangle. This is a, a decent entangle. Like there's a, there's a couple of good entangle can candidates like right there. Ah, I guess that's all I get. <laughs> and then we're going to have, we're going to do a super spin somewhere. Not there. Here seems good. A few down millions to go. I guess I should have spread some contagion first. Yeah, I would have gotten a little bit of a buff, but it's fine. And with that, I can actually like 
Um, well, let's just like, oh, oh, oh we want to make sure we can include this big lad in our crossbow. Oh, we missed once. Oops. Things are okay. Things are are they're not as bad as I thought over here. It could be better for sure. Okay, we actually cleaned up quite well over here. I I still don't know if traps ha do friendly fire. I, I'm really actually sad about these three ballistas. As long as we can, we should brace. Why not? Uh, Carmen, I don't know. We could do track. We may as well, because we have extra action points to, to waste. Burning a hole in our pocket. Okay. Nice. Um, now the problem here is that Carmen can't, doesn't have a lot of candidates for isolation. There's like one here, but I guess we only lose six. So if we are meticulous, we can actually gain some of it back. If we killed like this lad. Then we can kill this lad and gain four back. Yeah. So we lose a little bit, but we, we gain it back pretty pretty readily. Uh, now over here, we, we definitely have a good stun. This batch stun is perfect. We should have contagioned first, of course, but you know, there's there's me again. Now this boomer, that's that's a problem. Um, I think that's a candidate for a fireball, actually. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a weakening touch, which is I, I'm only going to do because I'll, it will give him a ton of opportunism. Um, and let's see, what, what can we apply? Mega stomp? We need to apply something to that boomer. Does he have 50% yes, stun resistance? Well, okay, again, it's not 100%. We could maybe stun him. Maybe the contagion will count. I just like, ah, uh, we can't stun him. Damn it. Cause I want to get the most from opportunism. Uh, it didn't even get close to killing him. That's a real problem. This guy is going to do so much damage. We can do a uh, follow up on him. Still not enough. Oh god. Oh god, this boomer is gonna do so much damage. Uh you know what? Let's um let's get Carmen in on this. Like she's got this extra potion and she can just like whatever do uh, do as much as she needs to do. Is that rock blocking her vision? I think it is. Let's just uh, kill this boomer. It, it sucks. She's going to lose a lot from that, but it will also take out a couple of extra lads. So, you know, uh, and now over here, I think things are pretty, pretty good over here now. Now that I've moved, I think if I hadn't moved Paloma over when I did, things would be so much worse. I see a good candidate for entangle. Let's set that up. And also this character will definitely do well with opportunism. Let's set up a couple entangles. I think that she should just do that and poison. Miss. Oh god. Don't miss. Um Well, let's set up Berserker's Rage. And I think there's a good spin here. Uh it's not as good as you'd hope for.
Uh, yeah, none of this is very good. I need to kill this lad. You know what? Let's get in here and do a spin. There we go. That's better. And I didn't set up for contagion. A classic me. It's fine. Um, Paloma is just going to clean up everything. Magic Missile. Nice. Um, we could do a transfer, I suppose. We'll do a transfer to... Does Natalie have any movement? Not really. I was thinking if we could get Natalie over there, it would be kind of nice. But never mind. I'll transfer to um, Patience, and then we'll just like wail on these guys that's fine okay we're i think this is the last phase yeah last phase traps are still doing work ballistas are still doing work amazing uh oh she actually took some damage. Uh, she's actually taking a little bit uh, you know, more damage than you'd hope for. Um, let's set up our contagions. I don't know. Is it is there, is there much point to it at this point? Sure. You know what? It, it establishes um, pattern and habit. You know? The entangle is honestly going to be good just to set up opportunisms. Like, it, it ensures that we get that opportunism bonus. We really... I, I should try and get leap done more often, but it's so weird. I, I kind of don't like it. I don't think I like the axe over here. I should have um, made more of an effort to uh, change her weapon. Okay, Carmen, you can just like 100% destroy this lad here. And this lad here, because why not? And then Talenka just like stomp the rest of these guys. I haven't really, uh, I guess I have done ground smash. Well, have I done ground smash? I haven't done ground smash. Who cares? I wish you could chain combo follow up a little bit more nicely. Okay. That's an hour and 20, 20 minute uh, episode. It's not going to be... We're, we hit our first panic. This is going to be our first A, which I'm not super pleased about. But no one died, so you know what? I'll take it. Paloma got to level 9, which is nice. I'll take A. Uh, much the same. We're definitely going to want to... I, I think I would like to get the production phase done in this episode before uh, we move on. Uh, before I end the episode, I guess. We achieved more things. Even more things. Rejoice. You are a creature of magic, right? This I surely am, though what thou art calling magic may be nebulous for me. If thou meanest I can command intangible forces from beyond this orb, yes, I do. My nature is indeed mystical and holy. New and variations on the crossbow. Recruit 15 heroes. Heroes have better traits overall. Yeah. Um, just like straight up have better stuff. Why not? Uh, I'm going to do my uh, general purpose like... Put one worker in each gold mine. Put one worker in each uh, material camp. Oh no, that last one cost two. I hadn't upgraded this one yet. Oh, that's so stupid. I wonder uh, if you upgrade it, you don't get the worker back. So dumb. I hate that I did that. So absolutely stupid. I hate myself right now <laughs> uh, uh, we have enough gold I don't have to worry too much about gold um, so like I think I want to dig these up uh, you know what before I do anything let's push back the mist 
and also uh, do the guess where. So now we have two workers left. And I do just want more materials. Although, uh, this is the, yeah, this is the first time I think it would be worth building a temple, finally. It only took, like, what, how many nights before a temple became necessary? And we're gonna upgrade it. We're gonna max upgrade it. And then we're gonna um, put one worker on it. So everyone gets a little bit of health. And then we'll give this person that little bit of extra health and we're good there we have one worker left we definitely want to distribute some mana um let's upgrade restore mana and i think just one of those would be fine there's a couple of people that don't have full mana but it's fine it's fine they don't need full mana um so that's all of our workers used up I sure hope I don't need any more workers for anything else. Except to, you know, honestly, just to get like a ridiculous amount of, um, of materials would be, would be uh, a good use of, of workers. Pistol. Oh, a better crossbow. Yeah. Carmen, Carmen's been, uh, oh, but that power ring. Look at that plus two multi-hit that's like that's winning the lottery right there that that ring on paloma oh my god yo i'm sorry carmen i i know i know i i i, I... oh and the hand wait a minute okay this isn't what i thought it was never mind i was like oh my god if that's like uh, uh like one-handed Cross, hand crossbow then like paloma is set up it is actually really good it, it is a multi-hit hand crossbow is there any reason why um paloma needs to be magic because this isn't bad uh I mean, armor piercing is the best part about this, and that is pretty good. The fact that this is a multi-hit attack that we can do four times per turn. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it with the idea of giving it to Paloma, and I'll weigh the pros and cons of it. Man, this armor kind of sucks. I'll take this light armor. But I think we need to upgrade some of these buildings. Rusty Spear. Uh, momentum. Ooh, multi-hits. I, I think I need to give that the hammer I got to... Um, What's-her-face? The, the new one. The tank. Because she did not perform well. I did not, I did not appreciate, well, Tail Swipe, that's a pretty good attack right there. I don't know. I'll take it, but I don't think I'm going to give it to anyone. I'll probably end up selling it. Can you upgrade these? Upgrade passive production. You can upgrade it so that, okay, hold on. Up, item level. This will upgrade any item production building at once. So we could spend 150 to upgrade the kind of weapons we're getting. Might be worth it on the bower. Where is the bower? Why am I saying bower? It's isn't it bower? Boyer. It's neither. None of those. <laughs> um. Yeah. Let's let's up. Let's throw like a little bit of money at upgrading the the boyer. Boyer. I don't freaking know. Someone tell me in the comments. I guess. There we go. If you if you if you're gonna get frustrated at pronouncing something wrong that you know you're doing wrong, you may as well get a little bit of uh, comment participation and engagement out of the deal. Sure, why not? Patience leveled up twice. I notice. Okay, Jelenka, Jelenka, what do you need? Resistance reduction. I don't think that's what you need. I think you need um, like stun. 
D definitely damage. Oh wait, no, Jelenka is fine. Um, resistance reduction. I don't think that you can do anything like that, right? Flat reduction applied to the resistance of targeted enemies. Sure, you know what? I, I don't know if that actually works for her, but I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Um, I don't think that she can apply any poison damage. She stuns. I'm gonna reroll these. I'm gonna reroll this. Physical damage, sure. I don't know how I'm feeling about uh, Jelenka. Bully. When attacking a unit for each negative alteration or of a different type they are affected by, the attack gets plus 25% critical, less critical power. I don't know how I feel about that. I'd rather her have volatile reaction because then she can, her, her like big propagation damage dealing thing propagates more. But like, I don't know. When attacking with a mana consuming spell, no, I don't, there's, there's not, not a lot of like really great candidates here if I'm being honest. Even honestly, volatile reaction is a lame choice as well for her. Sure, I'll take bully. I don't think it's good for her, but we'll see. Maybe maybe it'll be better than I think it is. Now, Paloma, extra mana for you would probably be good because that'll just increase your damage. Um, I probably she should reroll these, but whatever. Daily mana regen. Do you get something from that? Uh, wow, you got like no kills. You got no kills. <laughs> did, did you did you get zero kills? I I don't know if I'm reading that wrong. I am I am starting to feel the uh, the end of the night here. Um, I don't like. Well, uh, yeah, I don't like any of that magic damage. Does she have magic damage right now? Because I'm thinking of trading her up to a uh, hand crossbow. Because that would be kind of ridiculous. I, I don't know how to check her, like, various st stats. I really don't know how to check. This doesn't look like it's anywhere to be found. Like, physical damage, stuff like that. I'm going to reroll those. Critical power. Oh god. Sure. Critical power. <laughs> okay, here's her stats. She has slightly more magic damage. Honestly, it's not a big deal. Swapping in order to get more um, multi-hit opportunities, I think is much better. Fortress Master increases the damage of all defenses. Now that seems like a good idea for her. That just seems absurdly good for her. Whenever the hero dodges, plus one action point. When attacking a tile with exclamation point, eh. Any negative alteration applied by the hero has an increased duration. I think Fortress Master is just going to be very good for her. Dan. Dan having armor wouldn't be terrible. Dan likes to spread all kinds of woe. But having armor is fine. Uh, I don't think damage or magic damage is going to be any good to him. Sure, more magic damage. Why not? Uh, more propagation bounces would probably be nice for him. Let's do that. Now, Patience gets to level up twice, which makes sense because she was only at level four. Um... Have, she honestly doesn't need more mana. Um, she's she's good. Let's give her. Oh, move points is kind of interesting. Sure. She just needs to move around. Like I need her to have more action points. If I could give her a potion, like the same potion that uh, Carmen has, that would be ideal. Oh, she really didn't make much use of that mark. I don't. I can't remember if it's free. I should use it like as much as possible. She can resupply. Uh, 
quantity i was setting her up for quantity versus qual quality i don't know i feel like patience is uh kind of i'm kind of not feeling her business i'm kind of feeling like we get rid of her i don't know i guess you can't sell heroes stun chance man man none of this, this is car, patience sucks i'm out of patience sure propagation bounces let's go hard on propagation bounces and then she'll spread poison as much as possible sure and she'll get an extra perk um well she's gonna be poison spreading poison as much as possible is there anything that we can do to improve that extra accuracy i don't think so extra mana maybe she can only do this twice per turn but she's gonna be spending six mana per turn Plus six mana increase for by three for each level. Yeah, I mean more mana, but she already has a ridiculous. You know what? Magic fuel. There we go. That's good ish. Cool. Um, we definitely need to get a better crossbow for Carmen. I'm going to. I'm going to look at crossbows. Is there any crossbow here? No crossbow, huh? Spare, spare ye a crossbow, please. Let's uh, re-roll all of this. I don't like basically any of this. Well, this uh, full helm isn't terrible. Nah. <laughs> Fey cape. Poisoned. Oh, there we go. This might, um, this might make uh, patients better. Skill range, mana regen, isolation is not so good, but... Everything else on there is is pretty good. This would also this is a I mean if I'm gonna be spreading poison maybe I should just go for po like an orb. You can use this twice. I don't know. No, I should, we gave her. I gave her propagation, right? We have to. We have to make do with what we've given her i need a crossbow none of these are crossbows actually potion of health Ugh, god super spin scroll this is all sucks okay you know what we take this um no never mind wait yeah okay it's dumb but I'm going to take the B, B scroll. And the reason is, is that way uh, patients can spread even. Wait, what? You can't use this? Oh, it's a trinket. Oh, man. I didn't realize that. Weird. Okay. Um, Paloma, you are going to have a completely new set of stuff. You have a crossbow and a power ring. Good stuff. Congratulations. You've been uh, promoted. Who else needs a promotion? Natalie with your axe. I'm not really feeling your axe, honestly. I think that a hammer would be better for you. Just in general. You're going to be spreading stun. You have a pretty good stun chance, as I understand it. No, you, you don't, but it's fine. I, I still think that this is better for you. It's stun chance is generally just better and I, I like the hammer and I know how to use it Cool, um, we have 40 gold left Zero workers and we have 800 materials. I, I want to I, I need to right the wrongs in the world and um, Rebuild those ballistas and upgrade them Um, I think maybe walls <laughs> Maybe finally walls maybe Oh, I didn't have to put any workers towards some of these corpse piles. It's not not a big deal But it, it does feel a little bit the bad um, Wouldn't mind having a couple more ballistas like 
here here i guess we're actually we're, we're probably nearing the cap on ballistas huh how many do we have 35 So 37. Thirty-nine. Fill in that one little gap there. Forty. We're, we're done. We're no more ballistas. Now we focus on up upgrading them. Uh but I think uh I think walls also. Like I have really been doing nothing for walls. If I had some walls over here, I, it would have helped even a little bit. Yeah, I'm not going to do any more traps for now. I honestly think just this wall of ballistas would be enough to protect this, this side. I'm not going to do that because there's other stuff going on over here as well, but it's tempting. Um, okay, so that's money, materials, essence, all spent. Uh, so I'm just going to arrange people. I am going to try patience and Natalie here again. I don't know if they are. I don't know if it's going to work. I guess Paloma here as well. Paloma, you know, there's enough going on over here. It warrants a third and then Carmen. Oh, there's a little bit coming over here. That's kind of a problem. I don't like that. Because it stops me from just like plank plunking Carmen down over here. You know what? Carmen's gonna stay where she is and Watch a lot of this side This rock is a real problem actually Man Carmen is not is kind of screwed a little bit We're gonna move Talenka and Dan over here and I think that that will be pretty good and we'll just have to gauge how things are and uh, Accommodate or or uh, you know change things a bit um dan can probably take care of whatever stragglers are, are getting through here i don't i don't foresee it being a huge problem um but that's gonna do it hour and 40 minutes you're welcome i hope that you're enjoying the series please if you are hit the hit the like button because i i don't know <laughs> okay the series can go either way um but yeah, I will see you guys next time. I'm going to buy some of this stuff, but I don't I don't think it's going to matter too much. We could I guess we'll buy a trinket. We can now reroll once per day the item's reward. Yeah, you know what? Let's buy that. Nice. Okay, that's it. That's going to be the end of the episode. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.